In this video, we're going to look at how to find the area of composite shapes using circles. So the first thing I do is I look at my shape to see what I am given. And the first thing I see is I have a square, and out of that square, a circle has been cut. And the radius of the circle is 3, but I don't know what the length of the uh, square is. However, if I notice, the circle goes from side to side on the square. So if I just extend this line out to the other side, that's another 3. So I get the side length, the side length is equal to the diameter which is 6, because 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And if this side of the square is 6, then this one is also 6. So now I have everything that I need to find my area. So my area is going to be, I take the area of my square, and I'm going to cut out the area of the circle, kind of like making cookies, making sugar cookies. Now I know the area of a square is side times side, and the area of a circle is pi times r times r, and the side length of the, the square is 6, so 6 times 6 is 36. And now I'll do the circle. I'm going to do pi times the radius is 3 times 3, and that would equal 28.26. And when I do 36 minus 28.26, I get 7.74. And there's no units of measure on here, so I'm just going to write units squared. All right, now in this next problem, it's very much like the first problem, except I don't have any of the dimensions for my circle, but I do have the side lengths of my square this time, which is 10. Now in the previous one, we said that the diameter goes from side to side, which is the same length as the side of the square. So then my diameter of my circle is going to equal 10 inches. So if my diameter is 10, then my radius is going to be half my diameter. So 10 divided by 2 would be 5 inches. And for pi, in all of these problems, I'm going to use 3.14 as my estimate. Now I'm ready to find the area. So to find the overall area, I take the area of the square, and I'm going to subtract out the area of my circle. So the area of the square is the side times the side, minus the area of the circle is pi times r times r. So side times side would be 10 times 10, minus pi is 3.14 times the radius is 5 times 5. 10 times 10 is 100, and 3.14 times 5 times 5 is 78.5. And now when I subtract them, 100 minus 78.5 is equal to 21.5. And this one does have units. It's going to be inches squared. All right, in this example, I have two shapes. I have a rectangle, and then I have half of a circle, so I have a semicircle. So what that means is I'm going to take half of the area of a circle, and I'm going to add it to the rectangle. So I'm going to find my area. My area is going to be the area of the rectangle plus the area of a circle, and I'm going to divide it by 2 to make it a semicircle. Now the area for a rectangle is length times width, and the area of a circle is pi times radius times radius, and because it's a semicircle, I'm dividing it by 2. So the length of this, the rectangle is 10, the width is 16, pi is 3.14, the radius of my circle is 5. I'm just going to drop down that dimension there to the center of my circle. So it's 5 times 5 divided by 2. I get 160 for 10 times 16 plus 3.14 times 5 times 5 divided by 2 is 
1.25. And when I add these two things together, I'm going to get 199.25. And that's going to be square feet. All right, in our next problem, we have, again, two shapes. We have a triangle, and onto that we add a half of a circle, or a semicircle. So my area is going to be the area of a triangle plus the area of a circle, and we're going to divide it by 2 to get the semicircle. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, the area of a circle is pi times radius times radius divided by 2 for the semicircle. Now, base and height for the triangle is easy. I have my height is 12 because I can transfer that over here. And my base is 5 centimeters. So let's put that in for now. My base is 5, my height is 12, and that's divided by 2. Now, for my radius for my circle, I have to do a little bit of work. Right here, this is my um, diameter right here. So my diameter is 5 centimeters. I need for my formula radius, not diameter. So I know radius is equal to my diameter divided by 2. And if my diameter is 5, 5 divided by 2 would be 2.5. So I have to add 3.14 times 2.5 times 2.5, and then I divide by 2 to get my semicircle. Now i got a lot of math to put into my calculator. So I'll start with the first um, area, which would be the area of the triangle. I have 5 times 12 divided by 2. That is 30. Now to that, I'm going to add... 3.14 times 2.5 times 2.5 equals, and then divide by 2, and this is a pretty big number. I have 9.8125. When I add that to 30, I get 39.8125, and the units of measure are going to be centimeters squared. And remember, whenever we find area of circles, this is just an estimate of the area. So my area is approximately 39.8125, and if I want to round it to the nearest tenth, I would say it's 39.8 square centimeters.